This is a test of the super unidirectional condenser microphone, on sale on Amazon now under the name Best Shoot Condenser into something foam cap XLR cable M14 new, uh, a number of lines uh, sort of next to each other in a, oh, that's the barcode. This is what it sounds like when I'm speaking with a projection kind of a voice. Hello, I am the Ronan Vaughn at this distance on the normal setting with the highest amount of gain that I can get out of my Zoom H4 recording device. This is not where this microphone would usually be in a scene. Hello, I am the Ronan Pawn, and welcome to twitch.tv slash Ronan Pawn livestream here on twitch.tv slash Ronan Pawn. So this is what I sound like at distance where the microphone is a little bit out of the shot, but it's pointed at me. We're talking about one, two, uh, three feet away. I'd be interested to see the other modes of operation in this thing, but this is literally my first time turning it on, so you are hearing what I haven't heard yet. Uh, I'll go flip some switches and we'll see what else this thing does. What I've done here is I've switched the microphone into what it's calling the tele mode, which I presume is telescopic mode, and before you get any, like, thoughts about, oh, well that's probably a different kind of a diaphragmal cardinoidal it's probably just they're pumping a lot more power out of the battery that's being used for XLR into the... I, I, this thing, this microphone that you're listening to right now, on Amazon today, for 22 and some dollars. I have heard this microphone in telescopic mode before uh, from other people's reviews and stuff, because before I buy, I listen. Um, but I don't expect it to sound particularly good, so let's stop that and go back down to the normal mode. Now in the normal mode, I am peeking about where we were holding before, and there's a lot more dynamic range. That's interesting, I mean, it makes me wonder if they're not doing some kind of really simple, cheap compression. No, they wouldn't be doing that in a $23 microphone, would they? Let, let me hear that, that tele mode again. Are you in fact doing that in uh, this microphone? Uh, are you in fact doing that in this microphone? I'm getting more volume out of it, but there is definitely less dynamic range going on in there. Surprisingly, at least on my digital meter here, I am getting right down to zero when I stop talking, so it would presume to not be picking up a bunch of background noise, but we'll know that in review. In any event, I expect this will be the mode that I'll be recording in, and as I say, three feet away right now. Um, Tell you what, if I've been boosting the audio, just so that it doesn't sound <clears throat> too quiet for the video, now's the time at which I have stopped boosting the audio so that it's not so quiet. And as long as we're doing fun things with the audio, let me throw an EQ on there, because I usually put an equalization onto all my microphones. I got a nice condenser microphone, an MXL 990, old as sin, uh, upstairs, but I won't speak into that on my live streams without it being live EQ'd and compressed. Ooh, let's throw some compression on there too. And now we're really talking. You're listening to the only Top Town Some Sound 99 point something in the old Detroit area with the... Mm. So that's what this microphone sounds like. Again, this is the super unidirectional condenser microphone uh, on Amazon under the Best Shoot uh, brand right now. Uh, my dad's doing some stuff in the background, uh, dishes and things. Can you hear that? Is it coming through? Shall we test on axis and off axis? Hello, I am the Ronin Pawn and I am going to a place. It's over here. It's over here. I'm coming back now because I like to walk in front of my green screen when it's not set up. It's not set up. All right, so now we're a little bit near field again because the mic's just about a foot away from my face. Uh, oh, would you care to see the microphone? There she blows. So this is the box that it comes in. It comes with, um, we've got a mic clip here. This is a proper mic stand mic clip. It's got a uh, 3 8 inch mount on it, one for, you know, microphones. Uh, I've actually got it mounted right now on a lighting mic stand that has, I believe, a quarter inch uh, screw on it because it also comes with the mount that you see right here right now which has the little like shoe quick shoe slippy thing but there's also a screw hole in the bottom so you can use it on a stand like this it kind of didn't want to go in had to put some pressure on it maybe it actually isn't threaded maybe it's not supposed to be there but if you force the thing on there it'll work 
The microphone, of course, also comes with uh, the, the foam bit. And by the way, this is what it sounds like when you take the foam bit off. I mean, there's no wind in here. Um, it is sort of pointed at my left shoulder right now, so you probably won't be hearing me pop anything directly into the microphone. If I just, you know, Fonzie Bear showed up and we played a little cheesy, then <laughs> this is about what it would sound like. And then with the windscreen back on... Oh, I'm sorry. Fozzie Bear and I were to play Parcheesi together, then we could potentially poof some peas, and hmm, that's what that would sound like. Final thing of interest here is going to actually be, hang on, this is a bad idea while you're recording, the cable. The cable that comes with it. It is an XLR that ends in a, well, in a regular headphones jack. What do you call those? But it also does come with a quarter inch adapter, one of those little gold things that always suck because they jiggle in the outlet. This one actually snapped on good and tight and seems to be holding up unless it doesn't now that I'm jiggling the cable. You, you will know before I do, but what's impressive here is that for the cost, about five foot down from where it is on the stand, hitting the ground, coming up and over to my left thumb there and over to my right middle finger right over here. That's the middle finger, just indicating this is the one. That's the one I'm talking about. It's drifting all the way over there, and then it's coming down from here and going pretty damned long. I'm sure there's just some text in a book that would say how long. Ah, ni hauranma. No, it doesn't say. It's a very long cable for the fact that you're paying, what did I say again? $22, $23 for it right now on Amazon. I would guess that that's 12, 18 foot. 20, 30, 1,000 feet of cable that come with this thing for $23. If you need a cable, just buy this mic. Actually, I didn't plan on doing a video today. I just needed to break this microphone out and test it and hey, here's a camera, hey, here's a bunch of lights, there's a green screen back there. Look at me! I'm in... there! Don't, don't, don't even bother with that. Um, but yeah, so that's that microphone. It's on sale for a place. I'll link it down below. It'll totally go through my Amazon affiliate link, and that means I'll make money if you click down there and buy it. So if you like the sound of this, please help. I, I, I need, I need food. I'm, again, don't, don't look at the fat rolls. It's called middle-age spread.